sometimes, listen to me, sometimes we parrot a lot of things that we don't believe. We just say them. Some of us have mastered the art and the, the, the art of Christianity. I'm a child of God. I'm born again. And then something happened outside. They say, hey, 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 I don't want to go. So we are just parroting things that has no meaning to us. No revelation of it has been battered in us. Amen. See, the things of God that becomes revelation when we internalize them. That is when you engage your imagination. That's when you see yourself the way God sees you. That's when you let the word of God wash over your mind and paint a picture of your true identity. I am a new creation. My whole spiritual condition has gone away. Have you heard people saying, I am an old sinner saved by grace? They are still living in their old identity. You, because you cannot be an old sinner and saved by grace. So if that's the way you see yourself, then you are missing what the Bible is saying. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16 says, do, do you not know? Do you not know, friend? My dear sister, my dear brother, do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God, the power of God, dwells inside you? So if God that made the universe, the one that lifted Jesus from the pit of hell, is in your spirit, then what should you be afraid of? What should make you to stay awake in the night? Afraid to close your eyes because of darkness. The power of God is in your inside. Have you ever seen the Holy Spirit, the maker of the universe, dwelling in you? Or you just know this scripture by, uh, with, with mentally an assent to it? Yeah, I know that's what the Bible says. Yeah, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6. The Holy Spirit is in me. No. It's more than that. God put himself in you, he put himself in me. So that we can reign like Jesus reigned. Hallelujah.